Ang papaya ay karaniwang itinatanim para sa mga prutas nito na bumubunga buong taon. Ito ay madaling patubuin at maagang mamunga. Kung kaya ang papaya ay magandang pagkakitaan ng mga magsasaka. Kung ito ay inaalagaan sa wastong kondisyon, ang papaya ay kayang magbigay ng mataas na ani at kita. Subalit ang papaya ay tinatamaan ng mapanirang sakit na papaya ring spot virus o PRSV. The papaya ring spot virus actually damaged um, most of the papaya plantations, especially in Cavite, where it first started in 1982. So farmers uh, tend to encounter uh, large losses, uh, especially the yield, no? And it resulted to abandonment of the papaya plantations in that uh, province. So as a result of that, there is scarcity of papaya in the market. And also, um, because of its scarcity, the prices of papaya uh, went up. Dahil dito, ang Institute of Plant Breeding o IPB, College of Agriculture ng UPLB, ay nagsagawa ng mga pag-aaral upang malunasan ang sakit na PRSV. It all started um, way back in 1982 when tolerance breeding was initiated at IPB. It was done through introduction of uh, germplasm from overseas and also from local sources wherein this germplasm are being improved by infusing genes for tolerance to our uh, local uh, varieties. And by doing that, um, F1 hybrids after purification of the parents um, were created. The conventional hybridization was utilized to produce the F1 hybrid. So it's only pure cross-pollination or hand pollinations. So in the course of this uh, breeding work, the three varieties uh, that were developed into F1 hybrids are the following. One is Hirang, a red fleshed uh, variety, semi-dwarf and tolerant to ring spot virus. The second variety is um, your um, Liag, which is um, yellow-orange, semi-dwarf, and also toler moderately tolerant to ring spot virus. And the other one is your Timias, which is a big fruited variety, yellow and yellow-orange flesh, and tolerant to ring spot virus. And also it is a semi-dwarf with good fruit characteristics. To test the veracity of tolerance of these three varieties, so the project on field trial was uh, initiated to test whether the they will stand the presence of the ring spot virus in different locations in the um, southern Luzon areas. And the uh, objective for that is to solve the uh, problem on the papaya ring spot virus incidence in the country that damaged the um, industry in Luzon and now is spreading in other parts of the Philippines. The title of the project is uh, Field Trials and Technology Piloting of Three PRSB-Tolerant uh, Papaya F1 Hybrids. The project uh, on this field trial was uh, mainly funded by the Department of Agriculture uh, Bureau of Agricultural Research. The project started in 2016. There are two studies. One is the field uh, testing of the uh, papaya F1 hybrids and the second one is the seed production of this papaya F1 hybrids. Board study one now, which is on uh, testing of the uh, papaya uh, varieties for uh, tolerance to ring spot virus. The plants are um, allowed to grow in the field uh, for more than a year. And after that, 
the fruits are harvested for a final uh, evaluation of their fruit qualities such as uh, fruit weight, uh, fruit length, total soluble solids, titratable acidity, um, of course uh, their firmness of the flesh and also the um, um, looking at the juice density, the flesh color, and of course uh, they were rated for tolerance to ring spot virus. In addition, at flowering stage, uh, the plant height, the stem diameter, the number of nodes were also collected to evaluate the stature of the plants. Apart from the activities at UPLB, the field trial was also conducted in two other locations, namely um, the one in Batangas, wherein two trials were uh, conducted. And then after that, another trial was conducted in a private farm in uh, Luxuhin, uh, Silang, uh, Cavite. Because uh, it is essential that this trial, especially in Cavite, should be done because that is where the virus first was first uh, noticed. So naturally, the farmers there um, should also see the reaction of these uh, hybrids to the virus. After conducting the trials uh, in Los Baños, Laguna, in Batangas, and also in Cavite, we, we found out that the three hybrids are indeed moderately tolerant to the papaya ring spot virus. Also, the trees remain semi-dwarf in the three locations where they were tested across years. They, they, the fruits are having good quality. They are sweet with the high uh, total soluble solids. The, the flesh is thick with um, good uh, eating quality such as the, the, the flesh is firm and also they are juicy and having high edible portion. Sizes of these uh, hybrids uh, would range from one kilogram up to uh, 2 to 2.5 uh, kilograms. For study 2, so after testing uh, their performance and finding the uh, best two or three varieties that will perform under high pressures of PRSB, so the next objective is to multiply the seeds of these F1 hybrids to be distributed and planted by the uh, expected uh, stakeholders such as the farmers, the papaya growers, the orchardists, and other uh, seed uh, commercial producers. Another activity for study two is testing the uh, pollen fertility of the three F1 hybrids and also their parents. The purpose for doing that is to see whether the pollen will remain fertile uh, through the years. The pollen are highly fertile, ranging from 90 to 97 percent pollen germination as indicated by uh, the pollen germination test in an artificial medium. The other meth the method by which these types of uh, pollen germination tests can be confirmed could be done using two hand pollination methods. One is the uh, cross pollination itself, meaning to say crossing parent A with parent B and the other one is what you call the uh, sieve, se self or sieve pollination wherein a plant is mated by itself or a brother and sister mating system is done as in sieve pollination. So the success rate uh, of this uh, um, pollination to produce the uh, F1 hybrid is ranging from 50 to uh, about uh, 80%. We also tested uh, the uh, fertility um, across uh, months. 
and it was also done in two seasons in the in the wet in in the dry season so ideally uh, cross pollination is uh, being done or uh, conducted during the cooler months of the year to promote good germination good pollen germination and of course to effect good pollen fertility in those uh, parental hybrids Those field trials were done in uh, two different areas there. Yung 2012, uh, it was our techno demo farm uh, in Santa Ana, Santa Tomas, Batangas. And the second one in 2015, uh, also a site uh, adjacent to the to the first farm. And we found out na kahit na may may virus dun sa lugar, uh, nakakakop up pa rin yung nakakastrive yung yung uh, plant 90% the tree varieties na tolerate niya yung green spot and we actually have a bountiful harvest ng papaya we are very thankful we became part of this project we actually want to adopt this uh, this varieties so that our farmers also can benefit from it the collaboration it actually speeds up the work because um, the varieties are there available and like they're the ones that that it's the only way that conventional breeding will bring into in resistance into the farm into the farm and the farmers will finish up with um, well more robust varieties um, and also because of the uh, the uh, testing and uh, variety testing and uh, product testing that goes on here, they'll have they'll finish up with a variety that's very marketable. They'll be able to just take them to their market and they'll be in great demand because of the flavour, the consistency, um, and uh, the the fact that they'll possibly be di disease resistant as well means that um, they'll be able, their cost of production will go down so they can make more profits. This project is expected to finish in January 2020 and uh, we are now in the process of um, wrapping up and uh, finalizing all the different experiments and putting up all the write-up uh, for uh, the final review of the project. BPI is um, helping us at the moment on the um, registration of the varieties for what you call the PBP or the plant variety protection. So when the plant variety protection is granted, so after that the hybrids could now be disseminated in large scale to all expected uh, stakeholders, particularly the farmers and the papaya growers which is expected to be next year. We are hoping that uh, with the three papaya epon hybrids that were developed, one, we hope that uh, production of papaya uh, will increase tenfold in the, in the uh, southern Luzon area and also other parts of the country. Second, we expect that uh, papaya uh, production um, will be much higher than uh, than before and then of course we expect that more farmers will be planting the hybrids of course uh, when the trees are tolerant to the papaya ring spot virus so losses will be avoided and when losses are avoided so harvest become bountiful and of course the income derived from this harvest would increase definitely for the uh, farmers that are growing those uh, papaya F1 hybrids. For inquiries um, of interested parties regarding this hybrid, they may contact the director of the Institute of Plant Breeding at the uh, this address. Institute of Plant Breeding, 
College of Agriculture and Food Science, University of the Philippines, uh, Los Baños, or they may contact us also in the um, Institute of Crop Science and also here in the Institute of uh, Plant Breeding.